Member Pope, Councillor Mark. Mr. Speaker, what is this minister even talking about? Has he listened to yeah. any of the experts? Has he listened to anyone in Pride and Education, the Child and Youth Advocate, the Women's Council, all of the Pride groups, all of the, the trans and non-binary students, their parents, who are saying their lives are at risk? This is absolutely unacceptable. And I really hope that everyone in this House, including on that side, will stand up against this nonsense. It's beyond nonsense. It's harmful. There are lives at risk. I can't even believe that the minister would stand up and say he, does, say he doesn't think lives are at risk. I've heard of, of youth who are at risk, who, are, who have self-harmed, who, who are afraid. And this minister does not care at all about their, their rights, the LGBTQ plus rights. Why does the minister insist on putting their lives at risk by dead naming and misgendering them? Minister of Education, Early Childhood Development. Order. Order. Member. Minister of Education, Early Childhood Development. Uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, in my 35 years in education, I've seen a lot of things. And I've seen a lot of kids that are at risk for a whole variety of reasons. I've seen kids that uh, were cutters, that it was absolutely shocking to me to see how much self-harm they had done to themselves. There is no intent here to create more self-harm to children, but there is a recognition that parents have a right to be involved in the children's education. We want to work together as partners. And I, I, you know, like, having been involved in the system and seeing these things firsthand, like this, there's this one child that comes right to mind whose arms were cut from top to bottom because her pain was so bad that cutting takes that pain away. Yeah, Time, Minister. Order. Accept your opposition to 50